I feel way overwhelmed right now. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here today and be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Yeah, this seems to be a thing now. I guess a lot of Chinese companies are... No, that wouldn't be true. I was gonna say a lot of them kind of trust me and it is what it is, but I think a majority of what the problem is, is really, it's not a matter of being too honest. It's not a matter of being brutal. It's a matter of hearing things that you don't wanna hear, which I guess you could use the argument of being too honest. But here's the deal. When a reviewer comes out with a product, they almost want me to get the product. If that, well, not almost, but they do. Like they'll contact me and be like, Jay, listen, I got this coming through the mail and I, I don't charge. If a company wants to send me money to do the review, sure, that's a bonus. But other than that, I'll always take care of another reviewer. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna rip it apart for things. There is nothing that's gonna hold me back. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know a lot about this RDA. I know about this RDA because someone else told me about it. But Hellvape seems to be this company now that is working with a lot of people. And Hellvape, I always get confused with Times Vape when I do know that there is no correlation whatsoever. Hellvape kind of got their start with the whole Dead Rabbit RDA and Vaping Heathen. And then I guess Heathen stopped doing stuff and they actually worked on something else. And then I think they did the, the Drop Dead, which was a Digiflavor project under the Drop. And then the Dead Rabbit was still with Hellvape, but they combined the two, TVC Heathen made that. So I guess now Hellvape is a company that's working with a lot of different reviews viewers to make different products and look that's I got no problem with that I'd rather hell vape over vanity vape and I think a lot of companies and a lot of people know about vanity vape so I guess if the shoe fits put it on the passage RDA everybody has seen clamp decks there's no hiding that and that's exactly what this is but the way that the clamps are done on this is different than what we've seen before it kind of reminds me a little bit of the ocula rda but that's also from something else as well i guess what it is is really a variation of something else but it's not so obvious as to being a copy of something else which kind of pumps me up because it's different you guys have no idea how tiresome it is when you're doing the same shit in every single RDA, in every single mod. I could see how people get worn out. Now that will never happen with me. I will make a video every single day, unless of course something happens that is an absolute emergency, then I can't do it, then I can't do it. But other than that, I have remained loyal in regards to putting out the videos because there's people that like me and there's people that hate me. But the fun thing is, is that the people that hate me still continue to watch me. So I guess that means I'm winning. So what we're gonna be looking at is the stainless steel rendition. You can see that this still has the packaging on it. I have not opened it up. However, I did open up the black because I wanted to see what it looked like on the inside. But I also have not put a build inside of this or cotton or anything else. So this experience that I'm about ready to have right now is the same experience that you're seeing as I open this up for the first time. Let's flip it. I'm going to go over a lot of this, I guess, when I bring it back on top, or I could just do it right now. This whole little diagram, I was trying to figure out what this is. This is AG+. Basically, what it is, in the most layman's of terms, is a nanotechnology of silver. You put this in purifiers or water or air, and then it stops bacteria from being transferred through the water or the air. I don't know the application though for it to be on a drip tip because how many people are really gonna share a drip tip with other people? Why not put it on the whole dripper? I guess you could use the argument that you may put this inside of your pocket with change and that bacteria on the change will get on this but then that will deter it. It's the same thing with copper. Copper is the same type of deal with a bacteria or something gets on it, that germ will essentially not survive and will not be able to live on, on top of that mod or whatever is copper. I don't understand why they wouldn't coat the whole thing though with this. I guess you could look at it like a selling point, unless of course you share your dripper with everybody, but then again, it's a bacteria versus if it was antiviral, that would be nice. 
because you would never get a virus on there, but then you would inside of it. I, I don't know. Let's just move forward. Then you got your passage down here on the side. Some of the things that they're highlighting. There it is. Antibacterial drip tip with 99.9% .9 effective rate. Again, if you do look this up, you'll find a lot of information about this. Like you could really, really dig very far deep to figure this out. When you look this up, you will find out that it was patented in 1986. Then the patent was released. You don't really see anything that would have have this coded on it. The second bullet point, innovative passage airflow design. I can 100% agree with that. I can't say I've ever seen airflow that works the way that this does. Then you got a scratch and sniff here. This is going to be chicken pox flavor and scented. And then down there on the bottom, your social media on the back of the box. Go ahead and give that a freeze frame for you. There it is again with the AG plus technology. I like this right here. They're not saying that this is super innovative, this whole two post situation, but they are with the airflow. I can respect the shit out of them for that. I can't tell you how many times I've done reviews on drippers and on the back of the box, it'll say innovative post design and it'll be just a velocity style post. That's not innovative. Sorry. This in fact is, I can 100% confirm that. And of course you're going to see that then everything that's included in the package and a UPC down here on the bottom with the color configuration right here. Designed in USA, suck my mod. I feel like they should have maybe given him a little bit more on the top or the bottom of the box instead of just putting hell vape. I don't feel like that's enough of branding for him, but I guess it is what it is. Let's open it up. Inside the box, you're gonna get the dripper. We will go over that shortly. And then you get a little package on the side here. And then this is going to have all your little extra accessories. Check out down there on the bottom, you're gonna have a little sticker, a user manual of sorts. And I guess that is it. Gotta respect the shit out of him for not having a QC pass on the inside there. Inside the box, you're gonna get a little peripheral pouch, which is gonna have a Kensai screwdriver in it, and then an Allen key. Then inside your other peripheral package, you're gonna get an extra drip tip, which is non-antibacterial, and then a 510 adapter, a squonk pin, because the one that is in there is studded, some extra O-rings, and it looks like a couple extra post screws. But they're not really post screws in a sense to hold down the coil, they're more designed for sealing the clamp situation if that makes sense. The RDA, let's see if we have any dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots, glue. Uh-huh. So you can see that there are fingerprints on this. Could have been cleaned up a little bit better than what this is, as always. Yep, so the outside of this, it's definitely a little bit dirty, but keep in mind, anytime you get a brand new dripper, it's always a good idea to make sure you clean it. Well, I guess that's the reason why it's antibacteria, because, well, someone's fingerprints were all over this. I don't understand. I thought when they make these products that they make them so people are wearing gloves as it's going down the production line. Are they not? Like, that's what I thought. So how, in fact, like you just saw me rub off the fingerprint. I, I just, I don't understand why we're out of, oh, whatever, let's just move forward. Drip tip on the top, again, this is that whole antibacterial thing. I don't know if it's that ring, if this whole thing is coated, but again, I feel if they were gonna do just the drip tip, they might as well have done the whole thing itself. Okay, so you have an O-ring. Okay, could have been, again, just the, uh, some really superficial dirtiness on the top of that. Just rub it off or just clean this. I really do recommend you to just clean any kind of dripper or RTA you do get because I feel like it should be done already. We're at a point now where everybody basically opens things up and then just cleans it anyway. Your airflow adjustment is going to slide off and then there it is. To adjust the airflow, you're just gonna spin this top section up here and you're not really gonna see the airflow configuration as it is down here hidden. So what happens is if you over squonk or you drip, it may appear to leak out, but once you get a little bit of air past that and you suck that back, it'll suck that juice back inside to the dripper from the little air slit, so to speak. And what they look like, is just like that. So you see how they're designed kind of with this little well down here. Airflow is gonna come in from the top, go down sort of, and then into the RDA. I feel that may cause a little bit of a whistle situation because the air does have to do some very, very unique things in order to 
Wow, that, that does get fingerprints all over it in order to uh, be effective. So you can see that the machining is very, very well done. No dings, dents, burrs, spurs, or cowboy boots. This could have been filed down a little bit as it is. It's not sharp enough to cut you. You just feel it. And then on the bottom, in collaboration with Suck My Mod, Passage, and then Hell Vape. Going the recycling route here. Basically, three little arrows going in a circle saying that I guess that's the way that the airflow works. The only problem I really have with a two-post configuration on anything, whether it's clamped or if it's posted, when you go to put coils inside of there, it shares a post. So you may find that if it's thin or if it's a little bit too thick, it's going to push out the other side. It's usually something that bothers me. So what you'd have to do is put one down here and then the next one would go on top of that. And then when you go to the other side, it's going to flip it. And you see lots of tooling mark there on the deck itself. Well, I guess you could use the argument and say that that's the way it's designed with like the circles around the P. Maybe not. Cap has a very strange look to it. You see the fingerprints that I get on this really quick? Holy cow. Maybe the, maybe the coating is on it. The barrel on this is extremely thin, so that's going to help dissipate heat very quickly. But, man, does that get dirty so fast. It just feels very thin. A bit of a bevel here. So as you put your coils in, that will raise that up. Let me show you. And there you go. And once you put your coil in here, it should grab that and push that up like so. Dual core of 28 with 38 on the outside. Let's do it. Again, that is the Passage RDA. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top with the Passage RDA sitting on top of the Wismec RX Gen 3 Dual. We are working with a 0.43 Dual Fuse Claptons. 70, I don't know why that is, that is a weird wattage, but 70.5. Here we go. Wow. Oh. nice air full wow okay i was really expecting that to be extremely loud i thought the air coming in traveling down those channels would have caused sort of like a whistle how we do with our lips that would have been cool if the rda did that Okay, so considering that it's, all right, listen, I was so nervous about this. I don't mind calling people out. I really, really legitimately do not. I don't care how tight of a relationship we have. Like for instance, with that, oh, I can't remember the other product where I called him out on. I wasn't the biggest fan of his, whatever that was. It might've been an RTA. And I called him out and look, we have a good relationship, me and Matt. So even if I was to rip this apart, I'm sure it would bother him a little bit, but he'd be able to take it. So it is what it is. But I will tell you this. When I saw those channels, I said, okay, that's innovative, but there's gonna be repercussions because of the way that that's designed. The posts themselves aren't that difficult to build on. You saw now, I put dual 28 with 38 on the outside. So they are fairly flimsy coils. Of course they're fused, so there is a little bit of sturdiness going on there. It shares the same post. When you put the legs in, I always like to put them in and then cut them. Some people prefer to cut them, but because the posts are so small and, and the deck isn't the largest, you would have to cut the legs entirely too short. And for as small as the coil that I'm using inside of this, and as flimsy as they are, it wouldn't be 
as easy to put them in. I'm impressed with the flavor that I'm getting off of this and the clouds. Let me back it up a little bit. I really don't want to put any more power inside of this because they are small coils and this is like a 0.5. So let me just back it up and show you some vapor production. That's too much power. Now let me show you something. We're gonna back it down. I'm gonna drop this power dramatically. We're gonna go to 55 even. Watch the clouds. We just dropped it, 15 watts, not touching it, 55. Here we go. That just goes, oh man, does that hit hard. That just goes to show you that just because you have more power doesn't always mean more vapor production. Surface, oh. Whew. Surface area is absolutely marquee. Let's talk about this elephant in the living room. This antibacterial drip tip. I don't understand why the whole cap wasn't that way. How many people out there really legitimately give their dripper to somebody else to let them vape on it? I don't know a lot of people. I also don't know a lot of people that have a problem with bacteria. While I know that there are people that carry around those little hand sanitizer jammies like Howie Mandel, you know, he just doesn't like germs. I get it, I do, I understand it. I just don't get the demand for it. It almost feels like it's a gimmick. I get it, it's cool. It's fun to say. That's how I mainly heard about it. I think I wasn't alive. I was like, oh, you see that new drip tip? Antibacterial? People don't know that silver by default and copper by default are already antimicrobial. 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 Antibacterial. Antibacterial by default. As far as the dirtiness is concerned, I do feel it could have been cleaned a little bit better and I was really under the impression when things are going through a line that they are wearing gloves. I don't think it's that big of a deal because once you clean it, that problem goes away. I didn't have any dings, dents, burrs, spurs, nothing frayed off. The threading is good. There's not really a whole lot to talk about in regards to negatives of this. I, I guess you could just say... I'm trying to look at this from a consumer standpoint. The first thing you're gonna notice when you look at this is the way that the airflow is configured. And I really like that. You're also gonna notice the shape of the barrel, which is very, very peculiar. Almost gives the look of like an hourglass, but reversed. I don't know what else is the shape of that that I could give you a good reference point for. It just looks very different to me. While it'll fit on most mods because the diameter of the bottom part of it is smaller than what it is in the center and then it goes being back to small again. The knurling on the top is very, very nice. The post configuration, I would have preferred just regular screws versus clamps, but I get it. There are gonna be people that are gonna like really, really big builds and wanna fit them in here and this is going to give you the air floor. Air floor. Air conditioning in your floor. This will give you the airflow that you need for a very, very big build. I will also say this, that this isn't the most airiest RDA, and I thought it was gonna have much more than what it does, but I prefer an RDA like this all the way open with that little bit, I don't wanna say restriction. It's not restrictive, it's just not as large. As big as those channels look right there, as it goes down, they're not big ass ports, it's a bunch of little holes. So even if you were to fill this up, like past the holes, it's still not going to leak. Unless you tilt it on its side, then obviously it'll roll out of the little holes, but if you have very thick juice. There was a lot that was thought of with this. The only thing that wasn't thought of is Suck My Mod's logo. Where is it? Hell Vape is everywhere. It's on the sides of the box, it's on the front, it's on the bottom, it's on the back. And then you have a little itty bitty blip that says Suck My Mod. If you're gonna put Hell Vape everywhere, at least put Hell Vape wherever you normally would and suck my mod underneath. I think there should be credit where it's due. It is definitely due to this because as much as I would love to believe that this Passage RDA without his name will be successful, it will be more successful because his name is tied to it. So why not promote that more? There's suck my mod in regular text underneath, but it should have his logo. It's a cool fucking logo too. It's not like an elephant or an armadillo, I think it's an S with some shit around it. There might be some coils. I think it's a dripper deck with SMM in it. 
I would look at the dripper to see what it is, but I would get nowhere because it's nowhere on here. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... You can't even see it. This is the back of the box, and yeah, good luck. Let me just zoom in a thousandfold for you so you can see what that is. It's over here somewhere. Not a fan of that at all. But that doesn't have anything to do with the RDA. It does have to do with just the branding, so to speak. If I was to rate this RDA on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Won't go seven, because if that barrel was a straight shot, it was as thin as it is on the bottom all the way up, I would probably go seven, 7.5, just cause mere aesthetics. I do like that airflow a lot. I don't know if I would say that this is the best beginner RDA because it is a two post. I would recommend something that has individual holes for each set of legs. That would be easier to build on. But all in all, across the board, it's a solid RDA for what it is. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay's out.